Welcome back, family. Welcome back. So, this is a twofold message. Let's do the most important first. I was listening to the radio this morning and I try to keep gospel, praise music, or something uh, righteous playing in the car when I'm in the car. It keeps my peace, okay? And the Holy Spirit blessed me with a song I haven't heard since I was a child. The name of the song is called um, Tomorrow by the Winings. And it never hit me quite like it hit me this morning, okay? When you've been through some things with the Father and you know his character and you have been brought out of some things you never thought you would come out of, that's when you really see the character of the Most High come alive in your life, okay? That song pressed so heavy on my spirit. I shed a couple of tears because, <clears throat> excuse me, since I've been on this journey that he's had me on for the past two years, it's been really rough, okay? But I never quit. I never gave up. I never threw in the flag and threw in the white flag or the towel or whatever they say. And I'm grateful that I didn't, but it was really hard, you know, and I just want to encourage those that are going through similar that are going through tough times. But you know that the most High got you because he's shown up in your life several times. Don't give up, guys. Don't give up, sis. Don't give up, bro, because you're blessing and your victory is so much greater than your trials remember the, the scripture states to focus on the unseen the enemy uses what's in front of us to to deter us from our purpose many of us are prophets many of us are we're all servants of the most high <clears throat> excuse me while I'm clearing my throat, let me interject that again into a video, this video. Um, I've stated it before, but if you are a prophetic voice for the Most High, which most of you are if you are on my page, because he blesses us, he assigns us to those that are in similar situations or similar purpose, okay? But the enemy will try to silence your voice. He will try to manipulate your voice and your thoughts. So be very mindful of that. Speak that. Um, I speak that off of your life in Jesus' name. I prophesy that all of you that are listening to my voice, your voice will not be silenced. You will not be deterred. You will not be confused. You will be focused on what the Most High has for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. So, and that's another video, but I'll touch on that later. So I just, that. That's part of the message. And also this, thank you, Holy Spirit. If you have not given your life to Christ, do it now. Not tomorrow, not two seconds from now. Do it right now, okay? Something simple that they can say, Father. Because you know I'm not well-versed in that scripture or that. So basically, if you want to give your life to Christ, this is what you do. Father. Please forgive me for my sins. I repent of my sins. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't got to say hallelujah. That's me praying. Say this prayer with me. Father, I repent of my sins. I want to be in your kingdom forever. I want to follow your laws and commandments. Please forgive me, Father, and show me the right path to take to righteousness and to victory and to pleasing you forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay say that straight simple to the point holy spirit just gave it to me okay give your life to him you will never be disappointed guys now what was the other message holy spirit or was that it i think that was it a lot of um new agers a lot of uh hebrew super brews they will tell you oh amen means that you worshiping um an egyptian god amen ra dead it okay it's just more distraction amen in hebrew okay which is the original language of the bible amen means so be it it is done this is what the most i put in his word okay let's not deter and get all caught up in these little antics and these little silly little things <clears throat> excuse me because at the end of the day the holy spirit has told me several times that amen is fine you're not saying amen okay that's amen ra that's a god an egyptian god he is the god of israel we say amen because it means so be it it is so it is finished that's what it means okay 
stop getting caught up in this new age foolishness okay guys that's the messages i think that was like two or three get in where you fit in because i'm sure one of them if not all of them are for you peace and blessings i love you guys